Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. And in the last tutorial, we have successfully saved users' data into Firebase Real Time Database. And in this tutorial, we'll be retrieving the data and we'll display in the Recycler view. So uh, we'll be creating application like this. If I click on Show Data, you can see the same data over here is displaying on our Recycler view. And we have used Card View to display each user's uh, data. So one thing so this much of code is enough to retrieve the data from firebase real-time database but i wanted to show you how you can retrieve the data and you can display it in the recycler view and can use the card view to display each user's data so recycler view is a little bit tricky for the first time but as you practice you get better at it so let's fire up our under studio and start creating the project add some data here so i'll write name as sam let's put any dummy surname and then click on submit so you can see the data has been added sam jobs and the mail but uh, there is one problem uh, user doesn't know the data is uploaded or not data is saved or not uh, he's not getting any notification or he's not seeing any toast so we'll do that now just a little bit of modification so after this site value we can add here on complete listener so add add on complete listener and he will pass new on complete listener and over here we'll just display one toast data saved that's it okay so i will show you that uh, later so at the first we'll just add one button here and i'll constraint it and we'll set the text as the show data and the width will be match constraint and we'll add background color here so background and this will be color primary cool and we can also provide here margin horizontal of 20 dp so margin horizontal of 20 dp okay cool and we'll set id okay it is button 2 so just collect it button 2 and we'll add on the listener to that button so okay so after this um, we'll write here button 2 dot set on click listener new on click listener and here we'll just start the new activity so start activity new intent I will pass context as main activity dot this and then the show activity will create it in a minute so show activity dot class that's it okay so now we'll click on this pro okay so I will click on this Java first package name and new new activity will select empty activity and I will name it as a show activity hit enter this error has been fixed so over here we'll just uh, download the recycler view dependency so i have downloaded already just click on the download icon over here and i will drag it here we'll set the width and height as a match constraints and we'll provide the id recycler view cool and now we'll create a layout for our each item to display so layout resource file i'll name it as the item and we'll select card view instead of constant layouts so card view and click ok and i'll press alt ctrl l here to format this code and instead of this uh, match parent height we'll provide here 110 dp and card elevation 
card elevation would be let's say 8 dp and the card corner radius will be 10 dp cool then we'll provide some margin of 10 dp or first provide padding of 10 dp and also margin as a 10 dp cool so now inside this we'll add one linear layout so linear layout it will be match parent and the height will be also let's say wrap content and this orientation of this layout will be vertical and inside this will again uh, create one linear layout so match parent wrap content and its orientation will be horizontal and inside this will add two text view so text view wrap content wrap content and let's say text as email and then the text uh, style will be bold and then the text size uh, let's say 20 sp cool and then we'll just copy this text view and we'll paste it over here so instead of 20 sp we'll write here let's say 18 sp 17 sp maybe and let's write any dummy email for now so dummy under it gmail.com so i have to provide some margin to this from the start so layout margin start and we'll write here 20 dp cool and we'll provide the id to this text view and this will be email text cool and over here we'll just uh, include one space and the colon okay so now we can just copy this linear layout two times okay so cool so this will be let's say name and uh, instead of email id it will be name text So the surname and this will be surname text let's provide padding of 20 dp so let's provide some padding to the to this text of let's say padding of 5 dp to this also so padding of 5 dp and this one also so padding of 5 dp so looks cool now so now for the moment we'll just close this and in our activity show we have dragged the recycler view so in the show activity we'll just collect the idea of recycler view so private recycler view let's name it as a recycler view and we'll find its id so recycler view equals to find you by id r dot id dot recycler view and then you apply some properties to recycler view so set has fixed size this will be true and then the recycler view dot set linear layout manager this will be new linear layout manager and we'll pass the context so this and we'll copy some code from here in our form our main activity this one the instance and the reference so control c and i will paste it here okay so we are implementing recycler view so we need one model class and one adapter class for that we'll create first a model class so i'll click on the package name new java class and here i'll write model and we have three types of data so string uh, email name surname that's it and we have to just uh, create getters here so click on generate and the getters 
select all click on ok that's it for model class and now we can create adapter class so click on new java class let's name it as my adapter this will extends to recycler view dot adapter and inside this we'll write public we'll create an inner class so public static class named as my view holder and this will extends to recycler view dot view holder and we'll click alt enter here to import uh, to create a matching constructor and we have to pass some generics here so this will be my view holder class that's it now we'll click on alt enter here and it will ask to implement some method so we'll click on ok that's it so over here we have to create one array list so array list and we'll pass here model class so model and let's name it as the m list that's it and also we can write here context context and we'll create one constructor so public my adapter and we'll pass here context context and the array list of type model and let's name it as m list so this dot m list equals to m list and this dot context equals to context and in on create view holder we'll just delete this return null and we'll create here view so view v equals to layout inflator dot from we'll pass here context dot inflate and the layout so r dot layout dot item and then the parent as a view group and then the false attached to root and we have to return this so return new my view holder and inside this we'll pass v okay that's it for my view holder and in the get item count we'll write m list dot size and inside this inner class we can define our text views so over here we'll write text view we have name surname email that's it now we'll find their ids so name equals to find you uh, we will have to use this item view so item view dot find your id r dot id dot name text and then we have surname so surname equals to item item view dot find you by id sorry find you by id and r dot id dot uh, surname text and then we have the email so email equals to item view dot find you by id r dot id dot email text okay that's it now we just have to uh, implement this on bind view holder which is important so we'll create instance of our model class so model let's name it as model and we'll get the item from our m list so m list dot get and we'll pass here position then the holder dot name dot set text and here we can pass model dot get name and then we have holder dot surname dot set text model dot get surname and then the holder dot email dot set text dot model dot get email okay so that's it for the adapter class now we can move to move to the show activity class and here we'll write some code first of all we'll create instance of our my adapter class so private my adapter we'll name it as adapter and inside the on create we will just initialize this so adapter equals to new my adapter and here we have to pass the context and the list so we have not created the list till yet so we'll create it now so private array list and model and we'll name it as a list we have to initialize it also so list equals to new array list and here we'll pass our list cool so now we can set this adapter to a recycler view so recycler view dot set adapter and here we'll pass adapter 
let me add some spaces down here so we'll use this root so control c root dot add value event listener okay so instead of add value event listener we can also use add child event listener let me show you so we want to get data from this user node and we want iterate through this uh, through this values so these are the values if we have inside this user uh, another child let's name it as zero and and it has this data then we have to use add child event listener we'll be using that in upcoming videos so at that time it will make sense so for now we'll just use uh, this add value event listener so inside this new value event listener and we'll just put a semicolon here and you can use here of for each loop so we'll use for data snapshot data snapshot till snapshot dot get children and then we create instance of model so model model equals to data snapshot dot get value and inside this will pass the model class so model dot class and it will set all the values to our model class and below this will write list dot add the model that's it and after this we can just uh, we can just write our adapter sorry after this we'll write adapter dot notify data set change so that's it i think we have done everything fine so we can click on this run button now and we'll check our app is working or not okay so we have to move it little bit down so we'll do it in a minute so if i click on this show data you can see all the data has been retrieved from the firebase real time database let me show you the last that is sam jobs uh, you can see it sam jobs sam and jobs and then the jeff bezos okay then the elon musk okay so everything is working fine you can see and if i add uh, any random data here let's write anything and i just wanted to show you that uh, after clicking on submit button it will show us the post that is data saved okay and again if i click on the show data data has been loaded here i think i have clicked two times okay so it's working fine we are successfully retrieved the data from firebase real time database with one thing we can do uh, also we can just uh, delete this for a moment so now if i click on this run button so it is looking fine now so if i click on show data it is retrieving the all the data from our firebase real time database and make sure in, your internet connection is on because uh, if it's if it if your internet connection is not on then it will not load the data okay so in the next video we'll see how we can upload images to the firebase storage and how we can retrieve them using real time database so do subscribe and share this playlist thank you for watching